Welcome to Cozy Studio, where we interview and record bands of all different genres. Today we're going to the Tim Faulkner Gallery in Louisville, Kentucky to meet Before the Streetlights. Now get ready to hear a preview of their brand new single, Bloom. And that's where I came in She wanted to love me from end to end I don't know, I think it, when it comes to creativity, like you can draw all like, inspiration from different things, but at the end of the day, I think you are your biggest influence. I always think of like the background, uh, like uh, when I'm listening to an album, whatever the color of the album is, I like, listen to uh, watching movies with the sound off on that color. I listen to every song, and the background is always red, the entire album is red. So when I'm coming up with all part of what I do, I always think about what color I want in the background of the song. And this is what I think of that when I'm out. Thousand trees there. Like, I like to think this is like the one guy. He actually lives in this fourth wood. He comes walking. This is where he walks. And he cooks dinner right there on the stove. Individually, we've got, of course, Josh Gordon on vocals and bass. We've got Zach Schindler on drums and Tyler Courtney on vocals and guitar and Tyler Pritchett on guitar as well. Um, so you guys just got back from a pretty big recording session for your new LP. How has that experience been? Very organic. Because yeah. uh, like I was telling you earlier, we, uh, when we got back from the last album, we decided that we wanted to have more control over just our music and sound and want to experiment. So uh, me and Pritchett, uh, our roommates, we just got on board and stuff. Started like two years ago making this thing, and, uh, and obviously everyone went into it. But we uh, came up with something super cool. And it's just been really free, just doing whatever sounds cool to keep. Did it? Did the songs evolve at all? Like within the record? Like is it? Are they different because of the fact that some of them were two years ago and some of them were like six months ago? Oh, I'm making yeah, up dates. That's a, that, 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 <laughs> okay. Yeah, the, the, the song in like the middle of the album essentially is the first song we did for this album. And like we were just, we just drank a couple bottles of wine and did it. And uh, then it, they experimented with some sounds on it. It changed a little bit, but the structure stayed the same. And then we based pretty much every other song around that in a way that like, to make all the other songs sound like, you know what I mean? It's definitely an album I would recommend like listening from front to back. You know, it's not one that feel like you can, like, there's a lot of good songs on it, like you listen to individually. But, I'd say when it comes out, it'd be a good one just to like from the beginning to the end. Exactly. Okay. Yes. I think we wanted to make like a conscious effort to not be like two guitars, a bass drum, and vocals. You know, because we'd already done that, and we already done like a pop version of that and like a rock version of that, and we kind of decided you know, just to just do everything that we want, ever wanted to do. In our sound, like who we listen to change. We were talking a little bit earlier, Josh, about like. Just how you're, when you're listening to things, are you just like constantly thinking about like, oh, we should do something like that, or like I would do that differently instead of like I'm sure that like, would like dissecting. It's like you're like continually just dissecting music. You know, like you can't help it now. It's like, yeah. It's like, I'm like, it's like you can't not just listen to a song. It's like now you're just picking it apart. If it's our own or something else, you can do it's crazy. Do you ever feel like you're like you wish you could just enjoy a song? Yeah, really? that is so I can't go back and listen to a song and not hear it as all the pieces that came together. Yeah, it's like once you learn how somebody does something, it's always mechanically separated. Start it's like a slim joke. It's then, like, yeah. it's, it's like, you're like, oh, there's the guitar, and you can hear the guitar through the entire song. And you have to like stop yourself halfway through and be like, oh, wait, I want to listen to the vocal. And it used to just be a song, and now it's not. And now it's just a bunch of sounds together. Yeah, especially with our, with our own music. It's like once we have everything finished, like we have, we have no idea what the song just sounds like because we have like an attachment to it. Like, we can't do it. So yeah. it's like, well, once you're like building things piece by piece, it's like, all right, we're just looking at individual pieces. You can't sit down and just like listen to the song as a whole because you're concerned about all of the sound like the certain tracks or you know. I think our folder, uh, we have a folder on our hard drive that says before the streetlights new album, and just in that folder, there's 152 tracks. 
And I mean, some of them aren't songs of, are songs that have been used, but a lot of them are like, settle down, settle down, Pritchett B, settle down, yeah, B, settle down, 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 settle
It was like, <laughs> it's like in the shower. Right? It's some of the best moments, I think. Yeah, like your best thinking can happen in the shower. It's well. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, <laughs> <laughs> you just stand under water and you clean afterwards. It's like me, it's been like, you know, weeks on like trying to work on something. And I think it's like, like this for like anything. Like you're writing a paper or you're like making a thing or anything. Like you can spend like weeks working on something and just like drive yourself crazy and just not work. Or you can just like, you walk around and just have like this great idea and then like spend like, 30 minutes writing it and drawing it out and it's perfect. You can make something and you can go back and start with picking all these little things out but if you keep trying to pinpoint these little things and you want like you're like you never do okay. So are you already pretty excited about like writing new things? Oh yeah, we're just Oh yeah, you know what? I think we've, we've got, I think we live in the We probably got like five or six songs. Shoot. I just got like probably about four or five. Yeah. That's nuts. We got a whole EP. Yeah. We yeah. <laughs> can really probably release another album. Like, right? Like, just with like the B sides, B -sides of the album. You know, like, oh, yeah. You say with 150 tracks, like, that's like, there's probably like that's 60 probably songs. Yeah. It's probably, oh, yeah. Like, Half of those, like, you know, there's a lot of doubles in there, like little different ideas, but we still probably had like 50 songs that we could work from. And yeah, we could definitely I don't have a doubt that we can make a new side record out of this album. Oh, yeah. yeah. It's probably even longer. It probably won't be as like, you know, flowy because we kind of just wrote the album as, as we went. Yeah, but, so we have a little bit of a different feel. Yeah. We yeah. had like, we had some really big songs, like, that I'm hoping to release at a different time because we're still really good, but it just wouldn't fit into the track list. Like, that's the only problem is the flow of the album was very different. Can't, yeah, you can't get too attached to like, a seminal or a song or something like that. If it's not working out, it's so it's it's gotta go. It's gotta go. Yeah. It's like finding, it's like finding a baby, or is finding a baby. <laughs> <laughs> it's like having a bunch of babies <laughs> and having to choose which ones are your favorite. Which one? Like, oh, which no. ones are you don't tell the songs how you feel about the movie. <laughs> oh no, they, they know how I feel. They know how I feel. They saw the cry. Some of them are are better fit. Some of them are better fit for another. Yeah, but the yeah. the great songs are better. Fit. I'm tired of people saying this now, like, what they listen to in high school. Oh, no, dude, you sound like literally uh, to our old one. And I'm like, <laughs> where, is it, where is that at? And in this album, I'm like, if you say you sound like the movie, you have to listen to this album. I'm gonna, I'm gonna snap. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's hopeless. It doesn't sound like that's possible. Yeah, yeah that's what I've gathered. I don't think we, uh, we went into the album being like, how do we make something that's completely different than anything we've ever made? Because we don't want to be known for that. Yeah. Just, I think it just, it just naturally came out as that. Once we were able to write and record and produce our stuff, yeah. like you can do so much more free with it. Oh yeah, yeah just we, like go inside your mind, and, like it's okay. It works. It works. It works. I think a big part is like having the mindset. I think we all. Well, I'll speak for myself. I I had this mindset. That I was like, oh, you know, for example, let's say "Should We're Going Down" is a song. "Should We're Going Down" by Paul. That's an awesome song. How do I do a song like "Should We're Going Down"? You know, and I was. You know, Josh was like, you know, you can't do that song, it's already done. Like, you can make stuff, you make your own sugar going down, but someone else is like, how do I do that song? Yeah. So, and that changed the whole mindset of like how to write and how to record and what to record. It's being this, trying to have the song that someone else loves so much they want to do it too. You yeah. know, rather than trying to be the song that's already been made. But, well, thank you guys so much. I'm thank super you excited to hear you guys play. No. Oh, yeah, we're yeah, excited to show In that sweat